As many of you know, James Cameron has been working for years on developing a feature Battle Angel movie. However, with him now working on three Avatar sequels, it became apparent that he wouldn't be getting to Battle Angel for some time. Now it has officially been announced that director Robert Rodriguez will direct the project. James Cameron said the following, Robert and I have been looking for a film to do together for years, so I was pumped when he said he wanted to do Battle Angel. He's very collaborative and we're already like two kids building a go-kart just having fun riffing creatively and technically. This project is near and dear to me and there's nobody I trust more than Robert with his technical virtuosity and rebel style to take over the directing reins. Christian Byersell, Robert Rodriguez, directing Battle Angel. I gotta sell it. Um, just because Robert Rodriguez has he's not been good lately. Really not been good. Like Sin City 2 and the machete movies and it just he just hasn't been good and i and cameron producing is a little more hopeful and I, and granted i don't know a lot about battle angel i really don't um but i i still i i have hope i still root for for him i'm not going to be oh i'm going to not go see that movie i'm i'm going to be i'm going to cross my fingers the same way i was doing with ridley scott on the martian is where i'm going to be rooting for him and hoping <laughs> but i just i just don't know he just kind of seems like he lost a step to me yeah, I have to sell it for all the reasons you just said. I mean, his track record of late has not been good. He has shown in the past he can be, as Cameron's pointing out, a, a rebel, edgy filmmaker. Let's not forget the first Sin City, all that kind of stuff. Now, what I'm really curious about is what does this do to Johnny Quest? Because it was he was recently announced to direct the upcoming Johnny mm -hmm. Quest movie. Does it interfere with that? Will it work around that? I'm not sure. So I will, like you, I'm going to root for him. I, I think it has a chance, but at the moment... I have to sell it. So anyway, I'm going to buy it for all the reasons you guys said. Now I'm going to talk more about King Kong versus Godzilla. <laughs> now I, I I I do buy this because he's it's a property that James Cameron is involved with in some capacity, which automatically helps. And the fact that it's not machete in space or whatever <laughs> is a huge huge win for this because the guy is a visionary filmmaker. He's got a lot of talent. He's been bound by the properties he's been attached to recently, like Machete or Spy Kids or something, or even Sin City, something like that. Where I think he has a lot more freedom to do something like this. Now it's based on source material. And he can take his vision where he wants to take it, being shepherded by James Cameron. The most crucial thing about this is going to be casting. There's already a huge fan base for this. There's been two anime movies that have been built based on Battle Angel already. So you have to knock it out of the park for the fan base and appeal to a larger demographic. That's where I think a movie is going to be good. I don't know what the appeal is going to be yet. And again, a lot of that is going to factor into casting. And, you know, I should throw in, too, one other reason why I'm selling it is I've, even though I know all the stuff about Avatar, I have been waiting for James Cameron to direct Battle Angel for like 10 years. And this just puts the final explanation point out that that's not happening. Yeah. So I'm also selling it for that.